it's now the last week of October and I'm here in Yosemite National Park. It's actually my first uh, visit to Yosemite during the fall and my last visit here was probably seven or eight years ago. So it's been a while, um, but I am looking forward to seeing what I can find here this week. I'm going to stick my 360 on here. I just made my first exposure here in Yosemite National Park. And it was a bit of a tricky exposure. You know, I was trying to work with this uh, bright light coming into the scene from the top. And I'm on a 360 millimeter and my uh, front standards tilted quite a bit far down because this is a perfectly flat surface. And I was able to get everything perfectly sharp wide open. So I went ahead and I stopped my lens down to f32, which is about the prime sort of sweet spot for this lens. f22 to f32 is about the sweet spot, um, but f32 just to be safe. And my exposure was an eighth of a second on portrait 160. So we'll see how this uh, how this looks. Good morning. It is day two for me here in Yosemite, and yesterday was a good day. I made a couple of exposures and I did a bunch of scouting and found a few areas that I want to photograph today. Now, the first area is right here along the Merced River. It's a, um, a shot that I don't know if it normally is possible, but what I've noticed is the, the water levels are really low this year. So there's a lot of like these stagnant pools of water just sitting and uh, which, which is good for reflections. So I found this boulder right along the river here. Some pretty interesting shape to it. And um, it's a shot that also, you know, relies a lot on reflection. So calm conditions this morning is what I have. And uh, hopefully I can make this shot happen. And then I have another photograph that was really kind of a fleeting scene that I tried to photograph yesterday. Um, it was just a little, I wasn't able to work quick enough. I got there and I had about five minutes to work and I didn't even have my camera on me. So I had to run back to the car and by the time I set up, it was, it was gone. So, but looking forward to making those photographs today. Um, I'd say another hour or so, the light's going to be right for this first shot. So for this photo, all I have to do is meter off of that big gray rock there. Light's coming from this direction, so I'm making sure to meter off that face. Checked everything. There's not much contrast to the scene, maybe four stops or so. So I'm gonna shoot it with uh, Provia.
I've done the best I can do here, so I'm gonna get my stuff packed up and head off to the next location. I'm just waiting for the light. So yesterday what I saw was there was a bunch of there's a bunch of pines behind this black oak and they were all in full shadow while the while the oak was still in full sunlight. And that's uh, that's what I'm going for here. So I've got about maybe five more minutes until this shot is ready. But I went ahead and exposed a sheet of Portra just as a backup in case the clouds or something move in front of the sun, you never know. Um, but now I'm just going to wait for that light to happen. Well, just as the light was about to get good, a uh, big cloud went right in front of the sun. So because this shot was such a kind of a fleeting moment, I don't think I'm going to get it today. But maybe, maybe I'll come back tomorrow and try again. <laughs> is a perfect scene for slide film. I'm going to load in some more Provia. One thing I really like about this Toyo camera is the bailback design, the way these two levers lift here. Because you, when you're working with really delicate scenes like this, you can just really gently load in your film holders. I also have to watch my step around this area because these grasses are really spongy. So every step I take, I move uh, the tripod a little bit. All right, here we go. This is going to be three seconds at F45. 